One way you can bring a piece of the cemetery home with you is to do a gravestone rubbing. A stone like this is the best choice. It's very stable, it's not tipping, it's not cracking, it's not damaged in any way. And it has this nice granite surface that's very shiny, except where the letters and the decorations have been carved in. That will give you a really nice rubbing. If you choose bumpier uh, marble stones, you'll find that you don't get a very good rubbing. So you want to choose one like this and especially make sure it's not damaged, it's not tipping, and that it is a safe one to rub. You also have to be very careful not to rub outside the paper. You don't want to cause any damage to the stone, even if it's just crayon. To create a rubbing, you need a large piece of paper. This one is from an art pad, but you could use gift wrap uh, from the store. Just rub on the white side instead of the printed side or any other large paper that you have. It shouldn't be too heavy, but it doesn't want to be so light that you rip it. You want to take your paper and carefully fix it in one place on the part of this, the front of the stone. You can use uh, masking tape for this, so be very careful how much you use and make sure you peel it all off the stone when you're done so that it does not rub around and you don't want to leave any sticky residue behind either. So don't use more tape than you need, just enough to keep from messing up the rubbing. So you're going to start off with a few pieces. And of course, it's always easier to do this with a buddy. It's also best not to do it on a windy day. And of course, you want to make sure your stone is dry. You want to make sure there's no wrinkles in it, that it's secure at the corners, especially if it is windy because you don't want it to come off. Then once you get your paper taped on your stone, you want to use a crayon. A good size crayon, like a carpenter's crayon, is great. If you have one of those, um, they get, you can get them online and probably in some stores, and you rub the side of the crayon along the paper to get the words to come out. You want to be very careful not to rub off the edge of the paper. And as you rub, you start to see the designs and the letters appearing. You have to be careful where it's really deeply carved because sometimes you can tear the paper, especially if you use the point of your crayon. Then you can continue to go over lighter spots to bring out more detail or make things more legible depending on the type of stone that you've chosen. And you can see this one has a nice frame around it and the last name, the family name or the surname is right here at the top, Dixon. Underneath we have John B. Dixon. 1812 is when he was born to 1890 when he died. Nancy Slero is his wife and she was born in 1831 and died in 1916. So then you could take this home and you would have a copy of their stone that you could hang up at home or keep to preserve a family member's stone information as well. You can try this at any cemetery as long as there's no regulations against it. Just again, be very careful about the stone you use. Make sure it's in good condition and you leave it as nice as it was uh, when you're finished as before. Don't try to clean it. If you try to clean it, you can cause more damage to a stone, um, but you can easily rub one out if you have a nice soft crayon like this, but even your regular old crayons for coloring and art will work if you peel the paper off. You just have to be patient and careful 
and make sure your stone's in good shape and dry as well.